Hello, beautiful world. So, as you can see, I cut my hair. Um, but you won't see that in the rest of the video. Anyway, this particular video is a wrap. It's called Numbers, and it is very dear to my heart, specifically because it teaches a lesson that people should apply every day. The thing about this is that it's not meant to be fancy, it's not meant to be some high quality, super fancy record deal rap or something. It is meant to teach people a lesson to show people that they're not alone in their struggles and to enjoy life. So enjoy. One, two, three, four, five. Numbers above zero keeping me alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm about to show you I'm spicier than cayenne. Eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, I'ma try to keep it super squeaky clean. Wouldn't want YouTube to demonetize me. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. You tell me you'll buy me pizzas, I'll ask you how many. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Numbers tell a story, just like a full hard drive. 1. The number of older sisters I have that I look up to every day. Whenever she gives me advice, it's always the best anyone could ever say. It's also the person I haven't found yet to share my ambitions, secrets, and regrets. A person who understands that life is a series of goals you need to set. A partner who loves me for who I am and not what they can get. Two, the number of parents that I'm lucky to have. The kind of parents that love me even if I dab and dance like a crab. Three. The number of kids that I'll want in the future. You've got to have one older, one younger, and one mediator. Also the number of seconds it took me to make that last line. Because I'm just that clever. Four. The age I started moving way too much. But at least I eventually learned a bunch. Five, six, seven, and eight. Moved around, dealt with trauma and bullies. Doesn't that just sound great? Nine. Grade in high school when I was diagnosed as epileptic. Also, when speaking out against bad people, I was scared and skeptic. Ten. The age I had, the last and worst trauma of my life. It would create a regret that happened with the knife. 11. When I realized that I also like girls. And when the truth about my real friends unfurled. 12. When I first fell in love. But she dated guys so I felt like I wasn't enough. 13. My first seizure on a hot May day. Who knew I'd have to wait a year for them to diagnose me anyway. 14. Finally finding out what it felt like to be part of a misunderstanding. Also what it felt like to have your arm go the opposite of the way it should be bending. 15. The start of my dating life with obviously too much drama. And the age I finally went to court for my childhood trauma. 16. When you realize insufficient evidence are the scariest, saddest, and most anger-inducing words you can hear. You don't know how to act or feel, and being overwhelmed makes you shed tears. 17. Therapy. Talking about psychology. Constantly. 18. Making new friends who understand some of my struggles. That's when I started to feel like I wasn't only walking in huge puddles. 19. When getting engaged meant finding out it's just a game they play with a lot of other women. 
finding out from the girlfriend of two years is the most awkward situation I've been in. 20. When I thought I could live on my own, ending with a seizure that made me look like an alien with a fractured nose. And when my cat died and I hoped he was chasing mice in meadows. 21. When I got my first dog, who I now treat as my child, my sister got his sister, but her behavior was a little more mild. He brought me so much joy since I got him. The thought of how long ago is unbelievably wild. When I had my first major injury caused by a seizure, second degree burns on my legs and I remember how bad it hurt. I had a ticket from a comedy show a few months later, so it kind of eased the pain and I felt a little better. 22. When moving meant finally having my own room again. The area being boring led me to go out more with my friends. Walking my dog, so much fun time that I spent. Had a girlfriend that my mom wasn't very fond of. But I knew it was because they were so alike even if my mom thought my girlfriend was someone she was above. My dad doesn't like that I'm open about dating girls, but he grew up with different beliefs that people tend to shove. Though those facts don't mean that I lost any of my parents' love. 23. My sister's dog had puppies. I got one a couple months later. I had a mutual breakup because she didn't want me feeling sorry being the reason that I dated her. No doubt having puppies will always make you feel better. This was the year I was put on antidepressants. But that's because my anti-epileptic medication was making me super unpleasant. 24. The age I realized that I have to work endlessly hard for everything I want in my life. Set goals for my future. Work to be successful doing what I love. Not worry about wanting to be somebody's wife. Sure, there are stupid people in the world, and because of their actions, we'll probably have another world war soon unfurl. I won't let fear stop me from creating my own happiness. So I'm not going to only focus on all of this crappiness. 25. When I hope to be successful doing what I love and goals will be accomplished, Hearing that people know my story and are completely astonished. Knowing that if I do become famous, I won't become pompous. My mom and I being rid of debt and buying her a house like I promised. My dogs having a huge backyard to play in. Xena making Debbie her furry accomplice. Told you, numbers tell a story. Some of mine are sad and painful, but I'm definitely not sorry. I've learned a lot so far, and knowledge is not discriminatory. Just remember that numbers are important to the masses. Without them, every special moment doesn't matter as time passes. Because unfortunately, our days are numbered. There's no endless amount. So tell people you love them every day and make your moments count. Now, if you like that, please come back for more. Like, subscribe, and be sure to tell your friends. I swear it's not a chore. And be sure to check out my other channels. My comedy channel and my vlog channel. My comedy channel for more laughs on Thursdays. And my vlog channel to see what I'm up to every day. I love you guys so much. Be sure to tell everybody you love that you love them. And... Just enjoy life. I love you guys. Bye.